I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Congratulations, by the way. This is huge, right? Oh, thank you so much. So first of all, how does it feel to work with Camille? Oh my gosh, it was just amazing. Like she's an incredible human being, and a very talented actress, and we're the best of friends. So I'm so glad I had the opportunity. I knew the original film, the 1978 original. So working with her, it was just um, surreal. So let's go back to that because I haven't seen the first one, but I heard it was incredibly controversial. Why do you think that is? Uh, well, some people consider it to be a misogynistic film, others a feminist film. So, just I d think due to the nature of the subject, um, especially in the 70s when you're dealing with rape, um, and because the rape scenes were very long and, and they were real, They're, they weren't glossed over, there was nothing pretty about it, and I think that's what made the film so huge, um, was because it was told in such an honest way honest way um, and, and it being a very difficult subject matter. So I think it caused a lot of controversy. Because it was a time, right? And it was also very raw because I saw clips of it and I'm like, okay, I get it. I can see why it caused so much like heat uh, in a way. Um, what was the most challenging part of your role? Because you do come back as the daughter. I think the most challenging part was for me, being part of such an iconic franchise and feeling like I had to live up to that, you know, it, it wasn't just any other role. Um, and I had to do Mayor's legacy justice. So that's a lot of pressure. Oh, I'm sure. So now that you've been in a horror movie, do you think you're phased to horror movies or do you feel like you, if you see another scary movie, you'll still jump and get scared? I still jump and get scared. I've loved horror since I was a child, so I don't think, you know, much will change the more horror that I do. It hasn't changed so far, so. Okay, favorite scary movie of all time? Oh man, I have a few. That's just so hard. Um, but if I had to pick one, I love The Descent. Yeah. That's a really good one. That's a really, really good one. And let's say you wanted to be in another sequel in any movie you can think of. What would that movie be? Oh, um, <laughs> oh, I would love to be in The Descent. Honestly, like the cave scenes and everything, I mean, that would just be a blast. And I watched the making of it, and I think that would just be incredible. I love survival type horror films a lot, where they're in the woods or um, something like that, in this case, a cave, and, and so they're dealing with the elements as well. Okay, and I know this movie also was about revenge. Was I mean, have you ever gotten revenge on anybody that did you wrong or even an ex-boyfriend at all? <laughs> I, not that I can recall. Um, no, I'm more the type of person that just lets things go. Yeah, then, then I would seek revenge. <laughs> and then any other upcoming movies that you're really excited that you can tell us about? Yes, I have a, a movie called The Furnace by Oscar-nominated director Daryl Root coming out. It's a faith-based film, a drama, where I, I play a runner who gets into a car accident and, and loses her husband in the use of one of her lungs. And then I train up again with one lung to run a race in Africa. And it's, I've seen the film and it's a tearjerker, man. It's, it's beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then going back to your role in I Spit on Your Grave, now, was there like any scene where you, that really creeped you out, like it almost scared you to like any part of in the movie where you felt like you were scared to actually do this? Because I remember, I know you're very bloody and it's, in, it's intense. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a grave scene that was unnerving. Um, also, any rape scenes um, with, you know, actors, it's natural to get really into it. And especially um, men, they don't realize how strong they are sometimes. So, you know, like Camille was really hurt on the, the 1978 film uh, multiple times be, just because people make mistakes. They, they kick you and they accidentally kick you or, you know, accidentally hit you and, and things like that. So, 
but that's you know with what I do I you have to expect that um, so yeah violent scenes like that can get really intense and um, sometimes mistakes are made and then I saw another interview you where you felt like you, you said you really connected with your character can you elaborate on that more like how you really connected with her yeah I did really connect with her um, I mean she's a model she's anorexic I lost a lot of weight for the role um, I never was into modeling, and either is she. Like, she feels like just a piece of me, and she's over it. Um, so I did, I did relate to her in that respect right off the bat. That's right in the beginning of the film, establishing that character. So she wants more out of life than just being famous and, you know, being a model. And, you know, she values um, relationships and love and... And so do I. I always try to separate myself from this this industry um, and focus on really what truly is important in life. And it is is it is your friendships, your family, love. Wow. And then you said you lost all. You had to lose a lot of weight for this role. Were you like on a super strict diet and a crazy gym routine? I was. Um, the producers didn't ask me to lose weight. I was already very thin, but. I did. I, I wanted to lose weight and be even thinner because she literally does not eat. Um, yeah. So, and when I watch myself in the film now, it's like, yikes. I mean, it's, I'm like, wow, I, I was really thin. Um, so, yeah, it was a decision I made on my own for the character rather than them telling me to do it. Well, I do not want to take any more of your time. I feel like I exhausted you with questions, but thank you so much. Thank you. It was so good talking to you. Of course. Hi. Hi.